After the publication of El Filibusterismo, Rizal left Yu for Hong Kong where he lived from November 1891 to June 1892. His reason for leaving was unbearable life in Europe because of political differences with Del Pilar and other Filipinos in Spain and to be near his idolized Philippines and family. October 3, 1891, Rizal left again for Paris to say goodbye to his friends. Then, he proceeded by train to Marseille, and on October 18, he boarded the steamer Melbourne bound for Hong Kong. He brought with him a letter of recommendation for Manuel Camus and 600 copies of El Fili. Rizal told Bloom and Pete that his trip was heavenly. There were 80 passengers, mostly are Europeans, two Spaniards, and Rizal being the only Asian among them. He befriended many missionaries. Enjoyed playing chess with Father Fudge, even described him as Father Damasol without pride and malice. During the trip, at dinner time, passengers were having their meal, Rizal being alone at one table. Near him was occupied by some German ladies who were gaily eating and gossiping about him, without even knowing that Rizal can understand them. Suddenly, the steamer encountered a heavy squall and the door was blown open. A lady said to her companions in German that if Rizal were a gentleman, he would close the door and Rizal, who can clearly understand her, Close the door, then approach the lady and speak to them in perfect German that made the ladies very much embarrassed. Rizal arrived in Hong Kong on November 20, 1891. He was welcomed by the Filipino residents and his old friend Jose Maria Basa. Rizal established his residence address and also opened his medical clinic. On December 1, 1891, Rizal asked his parents' permission to return home. On the same day, Manuel T. Fidalgo sent him a letter relating sad news about their place. That clearly revealed the despair and sorrow of Rizal's family. Before Christmas of 1891, Rizal's family arrived in Hong Kong. Christmas in Hong Kong is the one of the happiest Yuletide celebration in Rizal's life. To earn a living for himself and his family, Rizal practiced medicine. Dr. Lorenzo P. Marquez helped him to build up white clientele. Dr. Rizal became successful and well-known medical practitioner. He had many patients including British, Chinese, Portuguese, and Americans. Rizal successfully operated his mother's left eye. According to Dr. Gimignano, Rizal had all the qualities that would make an ideal ophthalmic surgeon. Rizal conceived the establishment of Filipino colony in North Borneo, Arizona. On March 7, 1892, Rizal went to Sandakan on board the ship Nanon to negotiate with the British authorities. His mission was successful. The British authorities were willing to give the Filipino colony 100 acres of land, a beautiful harbor, and a good governance for 999 years for free. On April 20, he was back in Hong Kong. Rizal's friends in Europe enthusiastically endorsed the project. On March 21, 1892, Rizal wrote letter for Governor de Pahul asking him to permit the landless Filipinas to establish themselves in Borneo. This Pahul did not give Rizal any reply. Instead, he tells the Spanish Consul General in Hong Kong that he could not approve the Borneo project. Writings in Hong Kong Rizal wrote, Ang mga karapatan ng tao are the rights of man, proclaimed by the French Revolution in 1789. Wrote a la nation española or to the Spanish nation, which is an appeal to Spain to right the wrongs done to the Columba tenant. Rizal's another proclamation was entitled, Sa mga kababayan or to my countrymen, who was written in December 1891, explaining the Columba agrarian situation. Rizal wrote Una Visita a la Victoria Gaul on March 2, 1892, an account of his visit to the colonial prison of Hong Kong. Constitution of the Liga Pilipina, printed in 1892.
was the most important writing made by Rizal during his Hong Kong sojourn. On May 1892, Rizal made up his mind to return to Manila. The decision was part by the following, first to confirm with Governor Dispuhu regarding his Perneo colonization project, to establish the Liga Filipina in Manila, and to prove that Duarte de Lete was wrong in attacking him in Madrid, that he being comfortable and safe in Hong Kong, had abandoned the country's cause. Relatives and friends of Rizal opposed to his decision to return home because going back there means death. Not even the fear of death could be the result's decision to return home. On June 19, 1892, he spent his 31st birthday in Hong Kong. For the following day, June 20, Rizal wrote letters which he sealed and inscribed in each envelope to be opened after his death and gave them to his friend Dr. Marcus for safekeeping. The first letter the was addressed to his parents, brothers, and friends. The second letter was addressed to the Filipinos. Rizal penned another letter in Hong Kong for Governor Despujul. June 21, 1892, Rizal and his sister Lucia left Hong Kong for Manila. They carried a special passport for safe conduct issued by the Spanish Consul General in Hong Kong. On the same day, a secret case was filed in Manila against Rizal and his followers for anti-religious and anti-patriotic agitation. Rizal and his sister were peacefully crossing the China Sea. They were fully unaware of the Spanish duplicity.